Hi and welcome, this is chapter 2, Organs and Cells. And in this first lesson we will be focusing on the organs of animals, including humans. The learning goals, you know what organs, tissues and cells are, you know what an organ system is, you can identify the organs of the human body in a cross section and a longitudinal section, you can identify the organs in organ systems of humans and animals. Cells are small building blocks of uh, an organism. So on the left you see cartilage cells, uh, you can find them uh, in your nose, in your ears, between your ribs, and on the right you see plant cells. So this is one cell, you can see the chloroplasts within the cell, this is one cell, this is one cell, uh, here you see one cell in the middle, the nucleus and the membrane surrounding it. Um, so these are the building blocks of an organism and we are built of millions and millions of these cells but there are also organisms that just contain one cell uh, these are called single-celled organisms um, uh, this is a little video of, an, uh, of paramecium single-cell organisms and they're able to carry out all the life processes with just this one cell I will be talking about this later in a different lesson. In the next level you will have the tissues and a group of cells with the same shape and function is called a tissue. So this is one cartilage cell but if you have a group together and they all have the same shape and function, it's called a tissue. So this would be cartilage tissue, this would be muscle tissue, this would be bone tissue. So as soon as they have the same uh, shape and function, you call it a tissue. And um, you have to be able to recognize in a picture if it has the same shape. So if you look carefully, you see these are all plant cells, but these have just these have a different shape uh, than these cells. So these two groups of cells are two different tissues. One or more tissues can combine to form an organ. And an organ is a part of an organism that performs a specific function or more functions so uh, for example the heart is responsible for uh, pumping blood through our system uh, the lungs are responsible for the uptake of oxygen and the release of carbon dioxide so all these organs have their own specific function but also organs need a little help from their friends and that's when we come to organ systems Groups of cells that work together are called organ systems. So for example, in the circulatory system, uh, the heart is responsible for pumping around blood, but the, um, the blood vessels are responsible for uh, the transportation of blood. And all these organ systems together combine into an organism. And keep in mind that a tree is an organism and it two has organ systems and organs so leaves are organs uh, the roots are organs and so on and so on then the organs of the human body uh, this is the torso and the torso is divided in the chest cavity and the abdominal cavity and uh, the organ that separates them is called the diaphragm there are few organs that can travel through the diaphragm, uh, the esophagus for example, but also the blood vessels. In this part I will just list the uh, organs of the human body with their functions. Uh, number one is the windpipe, it's responsible for the passage of air to the lungs and uh, away from the lungs. Number two, these two things are the lungs, um, responsible for the uptake of oxygen and the release of carbon dioxide. Three, between the lungs is the heart and the heart is responsible for pumping blood through our system. Four is the liver, has two functions, 
first function is to filter our blood and the second function is to uh, produce bile. Five is the stomach and it's uh, part of the digestive system. Six is the spleen. It has more functions, but the uh, but important function is uh, it helps us with our defense. Number seven is the large intestine, and number eight is the small intestine, both part of the digestive system. And as food travels from the small intestine to the large intestine, it has to pass this strange corner, and that's called the cecum. Now, if we would peel off this layer of organs, you can see that below this layer of organs, there is another layer of organs. Some are the same. So, uh, number one is still the windpipe or trachea. Number two is the lung or the lungs. Number three is the heart. Number four is the esophagus. And the es esophagus is just behind the windpipe. So, this is the esophagus. It transports your food from your mouth to your stomach and this on the front side is your trachea or your windpipe and you can recognize it because uh, your windpipe has all these rings made out of cartilage so you can feel it uh, on your throat you feel these rings of cartilage um, number five is the diaphragm it separates your chest cavity from your abdominal cavity Number six was the liver. Seven, the vena cava, a big blood vessel that transports oxygen, uh, poor blood, to your heart. S uh, this is eight. This is your aorta. And it transports oxygen-rich blood to uh, your complete body. Number nine is the stomach. Uh, number 10 is uh, one of your kidneys, yeah, two kidneys, they uh, filter your blood. Uh, 11 is the large intestine, 12 the small intestine. Now the organs you just saw were um, organs in an image with a longitudinal section. But you have to be able to recognize the organs in a cross section. And here you see three cross sections uh, of the torso and this one is the cross section of the chest cavity this is a cross section of the abdominal cavity cavity just below the diaphragm so somewhere here and number three is a cross section of the abdominal cavity at the level of the belly button and um, these numbers are different than these numbers. So you have to be able to recognize these organs in a cross section. As an exercise, try to figure out uh, which organs are which. You can use this as a kind of uh, reference. You can pause the video if you like. I will give the answers right away. So an important thing is that they gave away the esophagus and you see no windpipe. So that means the cross section is made somewhere here. So number one is the vertebra. It's, it's part of your spinal cord. Number two is a rib. Number three is one of your lungs. And number four is the heart. Uh, number five, again, uh, vertebra six is one of your kidneys uh, seven is a part of your esophagus eight is your stomach uh, nine is the liver uh, and they already gave away the vena cava and the aorta um, number ten is again a vertebra and number eleven is the large intestine and if you look at this part, and if you would make a cross section here, you see that the large intestine travels up, and normally it goes horizontal here and travels down again. So if you make a cross section, you see two big holes here. So number 11 is part of the large intestine. Number 12 is the aorta. 13 is the vena cava. And 14 is the small intestine. 
Goed, dat was het einde van uh, deze les. Mocht je dit filmpje in het Nederlands willen bekijken, kijk dan ook even op het YouTube kanaal van uh, Biologie met Joost.